Hey guys, it's Matt Pittman with Meat Church. I'm here in our flagship barbecue supply shop in Waxahachie. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to make something that you can use in a ton of different recipes and you can make it any time of year. A classic smoked beer can chicken. All right, so I mentioned we're in our barbecue supply shop, so there's customers here. So forgive the noise, but uh, it's 20 degrees outside, which is not normal in Texas. So I'm gonna take this chance to do a cooking lesson right here in our shop. So why do I like beer can chicken? This is a way to impart serious moisture in your chicken and add a bunch of other flavors to it as well. Um, we use this for all sorts of things. So, I mean, you could, you know, eat the chicken whole, you could pull the chicken, you can make chicken enchiladas. We put the chicken in our Super Bowl dip. Um, you can put it in chicken salad. You can use it for whatever you want and it's gonna be just super juicy. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a glove on one hand since we're handling poultry and I'm gonna put a binder on the chicken. Um, we've left this chicken in the refrigerator like this overnight to try to dry the skin out. So it's, it's really dry and it's gonna to be tough for the seasoning to adhere. So you could put like an olive oil on it or a cooking spray. I'm gonna put some uh, duck fat spray on this one. This spray is really cool. It's got a, a higher smoke point, but you can use whatever you want. Make sure you get it in the armpits. This skin split a little bit. That'll probably, um, you know, tear some more as we cook it, but that's okay. And now uh, I'm going to season it. So we got lots of choices. We're going to use our gospel all purpose, which is a Southwest uh, kind of flavor profile, but feel free to use, you know, whatever rub you want. I'm going to go pretty liberal with the seasoning. I'm doing this on a pan, by the way, uh, just to control the mess. That way I don't make a big mess. I can actually cook it this way as well. Any chance I get to help keep my grill or smoker clean, why not? I'm actually gonna put some in the cavity as well. And a big tip, I like to work my hand under the skin, kind of separate that uh, little membrane in here. And then I'm gonna try to season this, the uh, meat side just a little bit. I do this whether I'm cooking turkeys, um, chicken, and you can go pretty far. You can actually peel the skin back if you want. I'm gonna reach in here and just kind of make sure I get as far in here as I can. Because skin comes off chicken fairly easily after you cook it. And so if I've got seasoning on the meat, then that's going to be a better bite. So let's get going with the beer here. So what I've got is a Miller Lite. Look, we're in Texas. It's usually hot when we're barbecuing. I like a porch pounding light kind of beer. You can do this with any hipster craft beer, IPA, whatever you want to do. You're not really going to taste it. You're just adding moisture. Um, I've taken about a third of this beer out. And I've actually removed the top because I'm gonna put stuff in it. You don't wanna start with a cold beer. Then you'd have uh, a big cold canister in the middle of the chicken. And when it cooks, it's gonna take the inside of that chicken longer to cook. And by the time the inside's cooked, the outside's gonna be overcooked. Uh, so you wanna go room temperature or put this on the grill for a few minutes and warm it up. So like I said, remove the top. And then I'm gonna bring in some herbs and stuff that I wanna put uh, in, in the beer. So I'm gonna throw some Throw some garlic in here. We've got rosemary, thyme, parsley. You just put whatever you want. It's gonna act as aromatics, add some nice, uh, some nice flavor. A little parsley in there. And then why not put a little more seasoning in there as well. So those flavors really permeate the chicken. And this is just a cheap throne that I bought, you know, at a Walmart or grocery store. You could get these anywhere. Some people do this with just the can, but sometimes the chicken will kind of fall over if you do that. So I like to put it on a stand. All right, I'm going to get my clean hand 
dirty, so I'll wash that off. And on we go. Just like that. All right. Well, that's it. I'm gonna clean this hand up. And I'm gonna get this chicken on the grill. All right, I mentioned it's cold out here. The good thing about this is you don't have to mess with it. We're gonna put it on and it's gonna be good to go. We're cooking 325 with hickory today. I'm gonna go ahead and put my meat probe in the deepest part of the breast here so I can monitor this baby remotely. I'm cooking at 325. You could cook higher, 350, 375, even 425. The higher you cook, the skin may split. I actually like the taste cooked at a higher temperature. So if you don't care how it looks, crank the temperature up. I'm thinking this five and a half pound burr is gonna be hour and a half-ish. We're gonna base with butter about halfway through the cook and we'll monitor and see where it's at then. And we'll be eating soon. One of the benefits of filming here in a barbecue supply shop is that you can just come pick out a sauce. I'm gonna go with Meat Mitch Womp. This is my favorite sauce. You don't have to sauce at all, but I'm gonna eat this thing whole. I like the taste of uh, barbecue sauce on the chicken, so that's the route we're going. Okay, this is gonna be super simple. So what I like to do with sauce is I wanna thin it out a little or cut it um, with some honey. So this isn't really a recipe. I just don't want a real thick sauce on my bird. So I'm just gonna add some clover honey uh, to this sauce and we're gonna put this pot on the smoker. This is probably like three to one, if I had to guess. Doesn't have to be exact. Um, honey's a really nice compliment. You really won't taste it. It's gonna thin the sauce out nicely. We're gonna heat this up and we're gonna baste with it at the very end of the cook. But while I'm here, I'm also gonna melt some butter uh, and this is halfway through the cook. We're gonna, we're gonna baste this bird. You can do this a couple times during the cook with about a half a stick of butter. And I'm just gonna drizzle this on the chicken during the cook. So I'm gonna go put uh, this one on, let it start melting, and I'll save the sauce for later, but get it out and ready to go. And it's a cold day today. I'm gonna baste with some butter here that I've melted. We talked about that. We're just building flavors here. The richness of a really good butter. This is an unsalted butter because there's a lot of seasoning, uh, a lot of salt in the seasoning. I don't think that's super important, but I know you're gonna ask me. And I cook this on this pan just to keep it clean, like I mentioned earlier. Any chance I can to keep my smoker or grills clean, I'm gonna take it. So my cleanup's gonna be nice and easy. golden color already. All right guys, so we've warmed our sauce up here. This chicken is at about 155 degrees in the breast. I pull around 160, it'll carry over cook a few more degrees. So I'm just gonna sauce at the very end just to let this sauce tack up. And I'm gonna drizzle it to the best of my ability it's going to look a little more even, and I'll have to brush it near the bottom for sure. All right, that bird's looking super pretty. I'm going to close this up. Just give it a handful of minutes, and we're going to be done and ready to eat. All right, guys, the beer can chicken is looking epic. Uh, it took about an hour and 40-ish minutes at 325. Uh, it temped 165 degrees right here in the thickest part of the breast, and we sauced it, you know, the last five to 10 minutes of the cook. Um, I've let it cool off camera for a minute because I know you guys want to see me eat it, and I'm ready to eat it, so let's give it a shot here. And I'm just going to slice off a little bit um, of the breast. I want the skin because I want that barbecue sauce falling apart. It's juicy. I need a napkin. Man, I love the barbecue sauce. That is super good. Juiciest chicken you can make sitting on that beer can. You know, got the flavor of the gospel coming through. The meat Mitch Womp sauce on top really just sets it off. 
Um, you know, and we can shred this and use it for anything we want for the rest of the week. If you like this, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're just trying to inspire you guys to get outside and cook something. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.